Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Legend of Dragoon. Where we last left off, we finished up at the capital of Bale, and now we're going to be heading to the Village of Hoax, uh, which is right down over here. And we're going to get into a battle along the way because, of course, it's a random RPG game and there's always lots of random battles. So we've got this guy here. Kind of looks like that green ghost from uh, Ghostbusters. Can't think of his name. Somebody let me know what his name was. I don't remember. Yep. Double slash. I'm going to be sticking with the same addition attacks until I master them. Um, and at least through this upcoming battle, I'm going to make sure that they're equipped because I'm familiar with them. They're easy and they'll do more damage than the next upgrade. And we're going to need it for the fight. Another battle. Ho -ho. Uh, just a couple of bats. No big deal. Get him. Good hit. Double slash. Easy enough. And we're moving right along. We're almost to the capital, or the city of hoax. Here we are. Let's enter. Let's go to the HQ first. Kaiser of the Eighth, whoops, Eighth Knighthood. Is this really a town? It looks like a fortress. The war changed it. That's true. Nobody wanted it, but it couldn't be avoided. Let's focus on our defenses now. All right, so we need to go inside and find Mr. Kaiser. Sorry about skipping that little piece of dialogue. There's an item over here, let's grab that first. We're also gonna have, I believe, two Stardusts uh, for this town, so we'll be finding those shortly. Here he is. Kaiser, long time no see. Oh, sorry about that. Lavitz, welcome. I see your knighthood was... Yeah, it was my mistake. But I won't let the dreams of my company end in death and be in vain. I'll end the war and unify Sertio. I will. Hmm. We cannot stop until we make our dreams come true. Yeah, now! I brought you two powerful helpers, Dart and Shanna. Oh, you are the famous guy who rescued Lavitz. I am Kaiser, the head of Eighth Knighthood. Nice to meet you. Interesting that word spread that I saved Lavitz that quickly. Could you inform me how we stand now? We are still preparing for the raid of Ser Sanderos. Sandoris. I don't know why I always have a hard time with that name. Sandoris. What I am concerned, what I am concerned about is the information that they are using a dragon. It's better to fortify here and see how they move, rather than attack a dragon that we don't know about. Then it'll be up to how fast we can spot the approach of the enemy. Great. Indeed, you are right. Dart and Lavitz, why don't you be guards for the night? Having Shanna too is not a good idea. Can you prepare the meals for the knights? Preparing meals? Okay. Dart, you're going to love it. Are you all right? I wonder how she will do. W what? Lavitt's mother gave me a nice compliment. But in the past, fine. I am not gonna cook for Dart. I was just kidding. Fight a lot that way. 
fighting deepens the relationship in many ways. Kaiser, why are you stirring things up even more? I thought I was trying to relax her. Now that settles the matter, I want Dart and the others to go look around Hoax. The night guards have to know the place. After you look around, come back to me. Stay with me, Lavitz. I want to go over the battle conditions with you. Now, shall we? Go along with each other. Or get along. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so now it is time to collect the two Stardusts. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, guys, so our first Stardust is gonna be located right inside of this house. We're gonna go down these stairs. And you're gonna interact with the fireplace. All right, so there's our first Stardust. All right, guys, and our next Stardust is right back here inside of the commander's area. Uh, so if you go over here into this corner and you interact, you should find it right here. So that should make for nine Stardusts in total that we've collected. And that is what we have. So let's proceed on. Let's go over here and talk to Mr. Kaiser once again. Did you see enough? I'll take you to the guard position. Sure. We are fine now. We have just finished the strategic meeting. Now, I'll take you to your position. I want to ask both of you to guard the black at the back gate. It's at the end of the stairs. Let's get to it. Come on, Levitz. You can go faster than that. I am here to replace you. You can trust us. Yes, sir. If Sandora attacks, it will be a night raid. We cannot relax till morning. Rest while it's still light. It's strangely quiet tonight. If the dragon comes near, we can easily tell. Why is that? There are those in the forest. Nocturnal owls are hooting. It's the proof that nobody is in the forest. So I'm going to go grab something. Worrying about Shanna? It's not that. Bring me back something. <clears throat> All right. Huh? The owls. Ah! Oh boy. The enemy is coming. The enemy is coming. How the hell did they not notice them? They're obviously within shooting range. Knighthood, advance! Fortify the gate! Fall back to Minas Tirith! You take care of the casualties. Y yes, sir. Everything is on fire. We'll counter them. Battle time. Get him. Swing and a hit. Double flash. We have to take care of these minions first. Nice. Ow. Don't do that. Double flash. That is how it's done. Let's get him. 
Take that. And another swing. Double slash. All right. So that's fight number one down. Easy enough. Oh boy, ninjas. Is this the battle headquarters for the front lines of Basil? What a weak setup. I will guard the top. Gotcha. Trust me to handle here. Let's get him. Come here, bitch. What guts you have coming alone like that. I am here. I got those guys at the bottom. Huh. One or two doesn't make any difference. Big talkers are usually weak. All right, so boss fight. You can tell by the change up in music. All right, so we are just going to start out by attacking. Basic attacks. We're not going to use any attack items on this guy. I probably should have healed up a little bit beforehand, but we'll be fine. Might just have to take a round to heal at some point. Double slash. Double slash. Oh, yeah. Ow. Some of the battle animations look so painful. And they get a lot worse. Oh, do they get worse. Get him! This fight's fairly straightforward so far until he does this. All right, so he splits into three. Can you nail the real me? All right, so basically we just have to, I don't think there's really any trick to it, unless we use an area attack weapon, which we don't have any. So we're just gonna go after one of them and see what happens. Only the real one will take damage, so that one is not the real one. All right. I'm assuming that one in the center is the real one. Well, never mind. I guess they both attack, so... We'll just go from right to left. Nope, it is the one on the left. That did a lot of damage. That's okay. Lavitz can take it. <laughs> Darn. Double slash. You're going down, buddy. Double slash. You can tell by the arrow over the enemy's head whether or not they're almost dead, so... This guy's in the red. We've almost got him. And we gotta do this again. Probably gonna have to take a round here to heal up. Let's go ahead and do that.
Oh, jeez. Come here, come here, ha! Why would take some serious damage from that attack? You must be weak against it. But that's okay, because we've got healing items. Also, if you use your block, it will heal your character as well. In case you didn't know. All right. So let's just go ahead and start with the one over on the right. Yes. Yeah, win that one. Watch it be the one on the left again. Yep. Oh, no. It was the one in the center. Let's finish this guy. There he goes. Boss fight down. All right. Leveled up, and we got a new addition for the Lavitz. Targ! What is that giant? It's Giganto! Giganto. Lavitz. I heard about it, but he's real. The ones who fought so far were no match for him. Well, he's still not a dragon. Go. It's battle time. This is the actual real boss fight, so. Sometimes you have a string of boss fights in this game, so you always want to be prepared. That's why it is a hardcore RPG. In my mind. Alright, so the thing with Kongol here is that you want to make sure you hit all of your addition attacks. If you miss an addition attack, you will do a nasty counter attack, and you don't want that. So make sure you land your additions, and if you're not good at your better additions, make sure you downgrade them. But if you can land all the additions, he's not too terribly challenging. He still packs a punch, though. Don't underestimate him. All right, just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and use Healing Breeze. That's going to give half HP to all of us. Definitely the most useful item in the game, um, as far as healing goes. Oh, yeah. Take that. Kongol needs no weapon. Kongol beats you with his hands. Oh, and missed the addition. Yeah, that's what he does. You gotta finish it off, or you'll be smashed. Oh, God. Ow. <laughs> See, that one looks really painful. Die. Did it again. You'd think he would be stronger with his weapon, but that's not the case. He's in beast mode right now. Alright guys, that looks so freaking painful. I don't even know what to say. Oh, he's doing it again. How do these guys not get a concussion from that? Seriously. Jeez. Oh, Kongo's almost dead. We're holding our own here. 
even without healing. That was it. Was he just flipping me a bird? Totally looked like he was. It's a shooting star. It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's a dragoon. He's going Super Saiyan. Right, I really like those in-game cutscenes. We see a, a fair amount of those throughout the game, and they're always really cool. Um, it's hard to believe this was a PlayStation original game. It's pretty old now, but I think the visuals still hold up. The, these are not humans. Dart, you... What happened to you? I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. The Night of the Dragon. The Dragoon was born. Urgh! I'm surprised you didn't die. Giganto don't die. Giganto will pay you back! Dart! You are safe. What happened? Seeing Shanna's face makes me relieved. Dart! Are you alright? And thus was the end of Dart. What are you to Dart? What did you do to him? I was only... Cut it out, both of you. I should be thanked, so why do I have to be yelled at? Huh. Have you come too? I... I was... I'm glad you woke up. You... you were... Rose, nice to see you again. Do you know Dart? I told you. I just saved his life, well, not only once. I want to hear it from Dart's own mouth. You explain, I don't understand. She saved my life. Thanks to Rose, I was able to make it to sell us. Then, the person who saved you from the dragon was... Yeah, it's her. I talked about being saved. I didn't want... I didn't thank you yet. I don't need any thanks. I wanted to do it. I see. But why are you here? It is too fishy to be a coincidence. I followed you because I was fascinated by this artifact that you own. The dragon spirit of the red-eyed dragon. This... this light? You deserve to rule dragons. This light shows the true evidence. From the time the dragoon's spirit starts to shine, you have to accept your fate as a dragoon, just like me. 
I didn't know there was such power concealed in my father's memento. You saved him because you knew it from the beginning. I didn't know it. It was a test to see if he could be a dragon. If you couldn't, you would be dead now. Why do you know about such things? You know too much about things nobody could know. It's better than ignorance, isn't it? That's true, but yours is not merely knowledge. It's a story and a legend that has been lost. I heard about it from Minister Noish before. The people who led humans to victory in the Dragon Campaign. They were the Dragoons. But was that the only reason you protected me? Just because I have a Dragoon spirit? Honestly, I was surprised myself. But now I know why. You guys look like my dear old friends. They lived in the middle of a turbulent generation. Yet they have strong yet they were strong enough to grab their own fate. They knew the way to go, the things to do, the enemy to defeat, and the people to protect. I feel the same about you guys, so I couldn't help doing that. Now you understand me? Can I ask you one thing? What are they doing now? Everybody's gone. It's all in the past. I'm sorry. I think I was wrong about you, Rose. It's okay. I'm used to being hated. Is the head of the knighthood Sir Kaiser in here? The seventh fort is under strong attack by Sandoris. What? My god. What are we gonna do? This place got demolished. The seventh fort in the marshland is under the fierce attack of the dragon. Due to that, the 10th and 13th knighthoods are almost overwhelmed. Survivors are still responding. Where did it come from? From the forest over the volcano Vilud. It seems there is a nest there for the dragon. Gigantos and dragons. It's not a fight between humans. If we don't defeat the dragon, we don't have a future. Summon the rest of the knights. We will assault the dragon's nest. The knighthood has the advantage of numbers, but they are only human. Humans cannot defeat a dragon. If it continues, Basil will be annihilated. We don't know until we try. Do you think a wasted death is honorable or something? But dragoons can defeat him. Dart, you should understand this. We have a different existence. We are beyond humans. That's right, dragoon. Dragoons, which were said to have governed the dragons, can defeat against the dragons, or can fight the, against the dragons. Maybe I can do it now. I felt the power of the dragon in me. I'll do it. I believe in this power. It makes me feel relieved. There's nobody left who can fight in the Eighth Knighthood. Dart, Rose, it seems you were the only people we can count on. Kaiser, you, you, you're wounded. Your wound is open. I am all right. Dart and Rose, the Kingdom of Basil is finished until we defeat the dragon. So, you can trust me. I will fight for you too. I'll go too. Doesn't seem to be enough if it is only Dart and the others. Shanna, you, you should stay here. No, I am going. I can help the other people too. The Green Tusk Dragon, Fairbrand. It brings back the fear I felt before. The real fear has not even begun yet.
All right. So let's go inside here real quick. And let's get healed up. I would like to stay the night. Awesome. And I'm going to go up top and snag a save. So now we have two Dragoon Spirits in our party. That's always good. I'll show you guys how to use the Dragoons in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and replace Shanna with Rose. Now, I'm very much familiar with Dart and Lavitz's additions, but I'm not as familiar with Rose's, so I'm probably going to screw hers up a lot more. It was super. What about it? That Dart fella. Yesterday, he wore unique armor and defeated Kongol. With Dart, Imperial Sandora is not even a match as our enemy. Dart is the Messiah of the Kingdom of Basil. Messiah, huh? You cannot be called a real Dragoon getting stunned like that by bursting with the power. Then tell me, Rose. How should I fight as a Dragoon? Well, let's begin. All right, we have a little bit of a Dragoon tutorial here. Let's begin. What would you like to know about Dragoons? I um, don't actually need to do anything here. One more thing. Getting SP by attacking allows your Dragoon level to increase. And you'll have more, special cho more spell choices. In the end, you can only rely on your own sword. So basically, our addition attacks, the more that we land with a higher addition ability, will give us more SP points. Those SP points go towards turning into a Dragoon and giving us more attacks that we can do with our Dragoon ability. This is what I can teach. After that, it's up to you. But I wasn't going to waste time with the tutorial. I'll be here for a while. Go prepare for the departure. Oh, I'm prepared. Let's get out of here. Once we leave the town, I will consider you as a mature Dragoon. I won't teach you how to fight anymore. All right. Okay, I'll be all right. All right, guys, so in the next episode, we're going to be heading to the marshlands. So I'll see you then.